Unit 10, Disorders of Respiration. How would you recognize someone who is choking? Well, they could be, or there could be difficulty in speaking and breathing. Congestion of the face and neck initially. Clutching at the throat and pointing to the mouth. Pale, grey-blue in the later stages, which is cyanosis. Dealing with a conscious choking adult. Is a casualty choking? If not, there is a partial blockage. If there is a partial blockage, encourage the casualty to cough up the obstruction. If they are choking, give up to five back blows. Is this successful? If yes, reassure the casualty. Seek medical help if it is necessary. If it wasn't successful, give up to five abdominal thrusts or the Heimlich manoeuvre. Is this successful? If not, go back to giving five back blows. If it is successful, reassure the casualty, seek medical help. If after three cycles there is no improvement, then call 991, sorry, 999-112. So the three cycles of three of five back blows and three of five abdominal thrusts. Dealing with an unconscious choking adult. Support the casualty to the ground, first of all. Check on the availability of a defibrillator, an AED. Start CPR immediately with 30 chest compressions. Give two effective rescue breaths. If they are not effective, check the airway and remove any obstruction before your next attempt. Do not interrupt CPR. Continue CPR. 30 compressions to two breaths. Continue until professional help arrives. The casualty recovers or you become exhausted. Disorders of the circulation. So this is the human heart. Uh, oxygenated blood goes to the upper body. Blood goes to the lungs. Oxygenated blood from the lungs. We got oxygenated blood to the lower body. Blood returning from lower body. Oxygenated blood from lungs, blood to lungs, blood returning from upper body. So basically, uh, if you look at the human heart, uh, the colours are blue is um, unoxygenated blood and the red is oxygenated blood. So basically, the blue blood, if you like, the deoxygenated blood, goes to the lungs uh, this picks up the oxygen from the lungs, then comes back to the heart, and this is then is pumped thrown to all the major organs in the body, the tissues, etc., and all the cells. So, what do we have in the blood? We have plasma, which is the fluid component of the blood. We have platelets; they are contained in the plasma. They aid the blood to clot. We have red cells, which carry hemoglobin that binds the oxygen to the blood, and white cells which manufacture antibodies and fight infection and bacteria. Um, and let's have a look at shock. Causes of shock could be to reduce blood supply, for example, given a heart attack. Fluid or blood loss, uh, given trauma to vessels or tissues. And where blood vessels dilate, uh, this could be due to infection, certain drugs and poisons. Other conditions include excessive vomiting and diarrhoea, injury to the spinal cord and severe head trauma. And this is how to deal with a choke in person. Everything okay for you folks? Very nice, thank you. Thank you. First aid, are you choking? Yes, he is. Can you cough for me? Okay, let me just have a look in your mouth. Okay, stand up for me. Stand up. Can I help? Just give me one second, please, if you could just stay there. No, that 
there's a good man. Well done, Rick. Well done. Okay, I'm just going to lay him down. Okay. Could you get that briefcase over for me, Claude? Okay, so that's no problem. You just put his feet up on the briefcase. Okay. Super. It's okay. That's a good man. Well done. Well done. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Well done. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. Thank you. If a casualty is choking and is unable to breathe or speak, they'll become weak and lose consciousness within minutes, so urgent treatment is required. Lean the casualty forward and support the upper chest with one hand. Stand behind the casualty and give sharp blows between the shoulder blades. Do this up to five times, then check the mouth and remove any obstructions. If the back blows are unsuccessful, stand behind the casualty and place both arms around them. Lean the casualty forward, place one fist just below the breastbone on the upper abdomen and grasp the fist fully with your other hand. Pull sharply inwards and upwards to force the obstruction out. The casualty is laid down because he's likely to need treatment for shock resulting from the administering of abdominal thrusts. However, if the obstruction had been removed much earlier in the treatment, sitting him down in a chair would be sufficient. Madam, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank God that second set of abdominal thrusts worked. If we'd have gone to three, we'd have had to call the emergency services. Another satisfied customer. Did they leave a tip? No, they didn't. But come to think of it, did you give them the bill? What is the correct procedure for dealing with a conscious adult who is choking? Is it A, check the airway, give up to five back blows, repeat? B, give up to five back blows, give up to five chest thrusts, repeat? C, check the airway, attempt ventilation, give five back blows, repeat? Or D, encourage them to cough, give up to five back blows, give up to five abdominal thrusts, repeat? So again, for the video, what do you think is the correct answer? You just looked at the video, and uh, we demonstrated what it should be done, and the answer is what? What is likely to be wrong with a casualty who is breathless, wheezy, and who has difficulty in exhaling? A. Stroke B. Hyperventilation C. Diabetes or D. Asthma So again, pause the video. What do you think it's likely to be? Well, I'm going to give the wrong answer this time, so you can explain to us what the right answer is. Breathless and wheezy, these are most likely the symptoms of asthma, so D is the answer I was looking for.